Hey! No! The bell ringing woman rings a sinister bell? Oh no. Oh no. That's... That's PvP. That's PvP. That's PvP! Adversary Guts has arrived. Oh shit. He doesn't look like he's fucking around. I got a chain, baby! You want a long range? Let's do it! Okay, well, that was my first PvP fight in this entire game. It went better than I expected. A lot better than I expected. Don't do it again! Oh god, this thing's ugly. How do I reach that? Jump? No jump. Hmm. In the frontier, it's constant PvP? Then I should leave. fucking yelling at me about losing my echoes. Do people take all of your blood echoes in Bloodborne? Because in Dark Souls, they just took a humanity, and that was it. You could run back and get your blood echoes just as if you they killed if they were a normal enemy that had killed you. Ah, welcome home, good. I must. What is? It? Very well. Let me. Don't ever. All right. Okay. What could I possibly level up now? I could put a little bit more points into vitality so that way I absolutely have 1,000 health. That'd be pretty nice. And then we can continue leveling up skill, maybe. Uh, all right, we're heading back to the Forbidden Forest, or should I say, begin with? Begin with has been mentioned a good number of times, so obviously it's a pretty important location. Killing the Bell Lady cancels PvP in the area. I don't, I wouldn't know where the hell to go, <laughs> and I'd probably end up just dying a bunch. on my way to see her, to kill her. Ugh. Ugh, God. There are a lot of these things. You're not supposed to turn around! I'm supposed to stab you back! You stupid fly guy!
Turn around. Turn back. Okay, don't turn back. Ah, what a lovely moon. Totally not ominous in any kind of way. I'm surprised it's not like a blood moon. It probably becomes that way. Ow! Fuck! Get the hell off of me! What's going on? Why is- why is the thing increasing? Okay, I killed it. I'm not going crazy. We're fine. Ooh, cool. The moon's reflecting on the water. That's a nice little atmospheric touch. That should be expected, but still. What?! No! That's cheating! Ah! God, my brain out again! That's one way to lose my insight. Dude, that would be cheating. Yeah, there you go! Stun before you could stun me again, motherfucker. Thanks for the quicksilver bullets. It should totally give you some insight back. Arcane Lake. Yeah, let me guess. Arcane Resistance. Yep, okay. Checking around for enemies. Oh shit. We're encountering them in the real world! Woohoo! Woohoo! Getting hit made it made me not get hit by fire. So, you know what? Silver fucking lining. I think fire's pretty indiscriminate. It should hurt these guys. We're saying. Whoa! Okay. This thing's not so bad. I can kill it. Yeah! We're gonna go around. Ooh! I didn't know if that was a grab or what. Right, we're not locking onto this thing anymore. Please don't. Okay. I just barely dodged wherever the fuck that was. Dude, this thing's taking some serious fucking damage in comparison to the dungeon, dude. Although, I guess it is a pretty fucking big enemy. It should be a threat. But it's also a giant fucking bug, so get the fuck out of here, bug. Great ones, Wisdom. What? A fragment of lost wisdom. Fragments of the lost wisdom of the great ones. Beings that might be described as gods. At Bergenworth, Master Willem had an epiphany. We are thinking on the beset of planes. What we need are more eyes. On the beset of planes? Beset? Beset? I never heard that word before. But that makes sense to me. That fucking hurt, holy shit. Considering that wasn't like its grab attack, which I figure is its main super instant kill thing. Ooh, shortcut. Slightly. Very slight shortcut. Hey! This kind of looks like, uh, the lecture place. 
because of books and random assortments of glass. What the fuck is a pearl slug? Oh, shit! Hunter! A hunter who uses- Whoa! Hunter who uses arcane! And my chain! I was ripped off. Ripped off. Absolutely. You know, that thing, that's kind of fucked up. Can you not? Okay, apparently I can cancel her arcane attack. So that's pretty nice. Ow. Oh shit, that hurt. A lot. <laughs> Woo! Playing it too close! Ah! Woo! Well, that was fucking interesting. She didn't even give me anything special, she gave me blue el elixir. Are you kidding me? I'm really getting sad of fighting hunters who have like different weapons and shit, and I don't even get weapons when I kill them. It's like, no, please, give me something more than just a random item. Give me your weapon set. I mean, sometimes you can go into the dream world and suddenly their sets are there, so we can try checking that out. Okay, what do we have in here? Remember, false god! Vile blood waits ahead! What does that even mean? Is there a bad person in here? Oh look, another student uniform! So, it reminding me of the lecture hall is totally valid. When the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred. And when the Great Ones descend, a womb will be blessed with child. Well, you know, the Great Ones always seem to be finding their way into someone's pants. Come, try out Ludwig's Holy Sword, it's beast. I don't know where that is! I'm playing the game for the first time! People we're like, dude, why don't you try out these dual weapons and stuff? I gotta fucking know how to get them. Key to the linarium facing the lake on the second floor of Bergenworth College. In his final years, Master Willem was fond of the lookout, and the rocking chair that he kept there for meditation. Is that a monster or a rocking chair I'm hearing? Mmm, monster. Okay. Well, you know what? You're ugly. That was scary, friend. Enjoy the fall. Oh, he's not dead. I can make him that way. <laughs> Empty phantasm shell. Hmm. It does sound like something that'd be there for a ritual.
Empty shell that applies arcane power to weapon. Empty invertebrate shell that is said to be a familiar of a great one. The healing church has discovered a great variety of invertebrates, or phantasms as they are called. Shells with slime still harbor arcane power, and can be rubbed on weapons to imbue them with their strength. Ooh, that actually sounds pretty cool. So if I had- oh, but it uses three Quicksilver bullets? That's not awful. That's not great either. Intriguing though. If I could do that, then I wouldn't have to worry about, like, trying to buff my weapon with fire. I could just rub goo on it, and suddenly it'd be effective. Now, am I supposed to be able to do anything here? I got a key. So I guess I have to go find the thing that opens it. Or rather, the door, the key that the thing opens. <laughs> I have to find the thing that opens the key, which would be this place probably. Yep, there you go. All right. Oh. Hey. 